Hello and welcome to Program It Yourself in Java. My name is Chris and in this episode we will learn a new way to handle the control flow using a so-called while loop. Similarly to an if statement, a while loop executes a set of commands depending on whether or not a certain condition has been fulfilled. As the name implies though, the execution can take place multiple times, namely while the condition is true, whereas an if statement only gets executed once. So let's create a few variables and have a look at its syntax. As you can see, it's not much different from an if statement. It is preceded by the while keyword up here and then has a head in which the condition is evaluated, right here. And lastly, we have the body of the while loop, right here. So it looks pretty much like an if statement. So let's go ahead and try to execute a statement here. So let's test this out. Number one is smaller than number two, so this code should run. Whoa, oh what's happening here? It just keeps going and going. We had better terminate this program. And we can do this by clicking this red button right here where it says terminate. Now it's pretty obvious to locate the error that we have made. We were caught in an infinite while loop. Our code never does anything that would allow us to escape from the loop. Because number one is always smaller than number two, we will print out the message. And we never change the values of our variables. So we need to do something or else our program will run forever. And as it stands now, we have two options for that. We can either go ahead and change the value of number one so it is bigger than number two, like so. So if I execute this now, it will only run once. And the other option we have is using a so-called break command. This tells the program that when we reach this point, we want to break out of the loop. So if I execute this again, it will only run once as well. But if we do it like this, a while loop isn't really any different from a normal if statement. When we use while loops, we want to accumulate values or keep a process going until a certain point. So let me give you an easy example for this. Let's say we want to increment number one until it is bigger than number two. And during every execution of the loop, we want to know the current value of number one. So here's how we would do it. The condition remains as it is, and at the beginning of each loop, we want to increase the value of number 1 by 1. And then we print out its current value. So if we go ahead and run this, we can see that for every iteration in the loop, we increase the value of our number 1 variable. So here's a quick recap. At the beginning of each loop, we check if this condition is true. If it is, we will go into the body of the while loop and execute all the commands. Once we're done here, it goes back up again to the condition and checks if the condition is still valid. If it is still valid, it will continue execution. If not, it will stop the while loop and move on to the next piece of code. So now I told you how to use a while loop but it didn't really give you a good example of when to use it. This isn't a useful program, but it's enough to show you the concept. And I promise that later on, we will find ways to use the while loop effectively. There isn't really anything else to a while loop. And I guess since I still have a little bit of time left, I could cover a really similar concept known as the do while loop. It's not much different and practically achieves the same thing. Here's how it looks. This time, our loop starts with the do keyword and then is followed by the statements to execute. So we pretty much just move the contents from the while body into the do body. That sounds really awkward. Anyway, in order to keep track of the condition, we still have this line right here. Note, however, 
that it is located at the bottom of the body. And it is also required to end this line with a semicolon right here. Now you might be wondering, well, what does that change? Is there any difference? And yes, there is. What a do while loop does is that it guarantees at least one execution of the code. Because before, we were first checking a certain condition and then executing the code if the condition was fulfilled. Here on the other hand, we first do all this and then check for the condition. So there is a slight difference between the two, but I don't think do while loops are really that useful. I'm pretty sure you can always change your code in a way that doesn't require a do while loop. But alas, this is all the time I have for this episode. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll be glad to help you out. If you want to see more, don't be shy to subscribe so you won't miss out on new videos. See you next time.